welcome to the Sunday Fun Day Challenge. It's an open theme hosted by Deco Easy, co-hosted by Crafting Cousins, and their channels and playlists will be in the description box. Today we're going to make this little beauty. I'm Brandy and welcome to Making It My Own. We're going to start off with a variety of items. You're going to choose some ribbon that you like and some florals. I've got some paper. You can use wrapping paper, decorative paper, whichever you choose. A picture that came from Dollar Tree. little wall art. Very pretty. It's got lemons on it, so that's the theme we're going to go with. Blue and lemons. I thrifted this frame. It has no glass. It is matted. Now we're going to just take the plastic off of our pretty little wall decor here. And I'm going to remove the glass. You can certainly leave yours in, clean it up if you would like, but I want this to be lightweight and I have children that run through the house, so this is going to hang up nicely for me without breaking if it falls. So we're going to take out the mat and we're going to cover the mat with this paper. This paper originally came from the Target Dollar Spot in the fall section, it's like a backdrop. I'm going to use my handy dandy glue stick, go all over the back of this, if you get any areas that are too thick, just rub those down with your fingertips, it'll easily wash off. This is just school glue. Flip it over on your paper and then press it down. You want to press it down firmly on the sides, the corners, and around all of your edges. I'm going to flip it back over, press out, and use your wooden ruler to remove all of the little wrinkles that might be there on your mat. I had a little frustrating moment and had to redo a couple of things earlier so you can see the remnants of paper when I did it on the other side. That's okay, it's a craft and we can always fix our boo-boos. That's what I've done here, we're moving on. I've cut this down to a manageable amount and I am folding over my edges and gluing those down. This is easier for me than trying to make a edge here and it's going to be in the frame so you're not going to see any of the boo-boos on the back and you're not going to see any rough edges or anything like that. Just be sure you don't get it too bulky. Be sure you curl in your edges there. Just fold them up over like you're making a package. Add the glue and press it down. Gonna work fairly quickly with that so that your glue doesn't dry before you have a chance to put the paper on it. I have a rotary blade here and I'm gonna go from corner to corner. Right in the middle. Because you're gonna have two options with this frame. I'm gonna show you what it would look like if you used it this way. So you're just going to separate this into triangles, fold it over, Add your glue, fold the little tip under so it doesn't stick out on the other side and rub that down. You're going to do that on all of the sides of that opening. Simple, right? That's easy enough. So two choices. We can put the frame right on top or we can put it underneath and just take it out of the frame. I wanted to show you both options. However, I have decided that I'm just going to use it on top. So I'm going to put my mat back down. I'm going to add the back on. This works very easily. It just has the little tabs that you turn and it locks into a channel in the side. So this is going to be easy to change out so that I can use it for another craft. And doesn't that look great? I love the yellow and the blue this year. Lemons and blue, really popular. And of course, you can't go wrong with plaid, right? So I'm going to measure top, bottom, and both sides to make sure that I am centered here. I'm going to use a light pencil marking on each side and the top and bottom so that I can get this glued down. And I can put it exactly back where I want it. Flipping over that frame, I'm going to add my glue. Put a little heavier spots in the corners. A little bit on the sides. This is not heavy because there's no glass. It's not going to take a lot to hold this. 
Then I center it back down with my pencil lines and then press it down. See how it looks? That's nice. Go back and take the pencil marks off. Now I'm going to start with the ribbon that I chose. This is a wired white ribbon that's underneath and I wanted to give some body to my Dollar Tree ribbon. So I'm just going to layer it on top of a thinner wired ribbon. And you'll see me zigzag the glue lightly so that it doesn't show a dark glue line underneath there. And it will look like one ribbon instead of like we tacked it together. So we're gonna do this down the length of our ribbon for as much as we want to use. Working quickly and being careful not to burn ourselves. Now I'm going to make two loops. One is going to be larger than the other and you can see I've already done that with the glue. So here's a bigger loop. There's a smaller loop, just like that. And ideally we will be stacking those on top of each other. I have a piece that I'm using for a tail. I'm going to put the first bigger loop in the center, the smaller loop on top. And I'm going to use a piece of this twine that came from Dollar Tree on a big spool. We flipped it over, centered it, and we're going to pull it so that it pinches it in the middle. I'm going to do a double knot here. You can do more than that and you can add a little hot glue if you'd like for securing it a little bit more. You're going to fluff your bow out just a little. Open up those loops and then find out where we want to place them. I'm going to remove the extra little pieces of cord that we had and I want mine right in this corner. So a little hot glue on the frame and then I'm going to place the bow down in there and hold it for a moment so that it holds down. And then I've decided for the tail of this ribbon, which I have cut at a slant, I want to make it look almost like it's blowing in the wind or it's just kind of floating. Floating on a summer breeze, if you will. So I've taken that tail right on the end and then a spot right in the middle, well close to the middle, where we're making it look like it has some movement. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So you see, I've just kind of bent it up with my finger. Little dot of glue there. We don't want to go overboard because I like to tear my projects down and then reuse them. We're going to do the same thing, a little loop, a little dot, and just press the tail down there. Originally, I had a bigger bow that I tried and then a medium bow that I tried and I just did not just wasn't doing it for me. I feel like the simplicity of this bow is exactly what this picture needs. So I'm just going to take a random little pick with some greenery and place those down here around that bow and on the corner. I think it balances the picture a little better since we have lemons in one corner in the top and one corner in the bottom. Now we have this in the top and a little bit of the little, you know, the bow and the, and the little floral and color up there in the top. So I'm just placing these pieces down where they look good, where I feel like they look good and they make sense. And it's a quick, simple project. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you for the ladies who invited me to join the challenge. This was a great challenge. It was fun. I'm really filling the lemons this year. Again, you can find all the information for the playlist and the links in the description box below. So go show, show your support to the other ladies who have made projects for this Sunday Fun Day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!